Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. Uh, we are heading to take out the second of the Citadels and uh, it shouldn't be that long before we've got things back in control over this side. Uh, the team is already ready so we'll just send them straight in, although I could actually just very quickly check their experience, see if we can do anything worthwhile with people. I don't think so. No, they're going to need to go on a few more, really. That's all right. We'll uh, we'll send them in and get some experience. Now, of course. Clearing up these Pandoran structures will mean fewer attacks, uh, which will hopefully make things a bit easier for us. Really, I should have done them ages ago. But, you know, we've been busy. We've been busy. Let's get our frenzy on. And do our standard pathing pattern. Hello, you're going to be a bit hazardous. You're also going to be a bit hazardous. Maybe we get to, to here and put a shield out. I'm prepared. Him over at the back, he is pretty well hidden. Rolling out. Nothing's petty. Let's, uh, let's get some people in place and get some some Overwatch. I don't think it's spotted us yet, so I don't really want to draw its attention. Get to there, that's in cover. Like whether that just means you're going to get shot or not, I don't know. I don't think they've they've spotted us yet. Uh, Herman, we can bring you up here. It's not in cover, but it's fine. Sprinting. I mean, you're stealthed, so you can get up to here. Probably even maybe Still further. Alive. And Eduardo in. I mean there. Okay, overwatch on people that can overwatch without difficulty. You can overwatch with a shard gun, that's lovely. Let's uh, do that. You've got nothing. You've got your shield up. I think that'll probably do. Now the Scylla's on the move. Cool. Now we've shot them. That was a good Overwatch shot. Ha ha ha! Oh my god, I love it. I love it so much being able to overwatch for one reduced action point. This might be painful. 
Okay. He's he's just tucked himself in. So clearly we're gonna have um, an Umbra appearing. We also need to clear and secure this area from the other ones. Kind of wish I had some fire to take care of you, right? So. Quick aim. Quick aim. Finish him off by shooting him in the butt. Okay, now this will do a lot of damage, but when the Umbra appears, we're going to need two people to hit it. How can no one really see you? going to be down to the angle, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's always down to the angle. That's a little sketchy with that in the way. I'm wondering if maybe we should be thinking of forming Cause it's that that's getting in the way. Still alive. Okay, let's let's deal with the close by problems. Your scyther is amazing, so we'll go rapid clearance. Get the scyther out. Probably should do quick aim on everyone, actually. So we know we need Overwatch there to stop that. And we need Overwatch going this way to stop this. We can kill this in one go. Close enough? Might be. I see you. Hello. Don't mind me. Just, you know, killing your friend. <laughs> what are you up to? Just like having a nice day? I don't know. Maybe. Okay, so. The different directions of Overwatch, that's Standing what we're going to deal with. Amina, you're going to deal with going this way. So we'll get to here. And we will Overwatch like that. Covering. Eduardo, you're going to help out Already going this there. way. Got you covered. And Herbert, you too are going to help out going this way. Hilda, I think I'm actually going to need you to come back to, like, nearby. Maybe to here. Okay, now that means the remaining people are going to be focused on you. I'm prepared. Here I am. Let's do this. The Overwatch there. Overwatch for two, so 
come up. And they're, they're solid, solid overwatch shots, these. And Herman, you can overwatch for two as well. Who can you mind control? Wait, we can mind control that? That's an interesting idea, but let's let's not. Just in case. All right, there's the big tamale. It's a little bit of poison. But it's going to be fine. Ooh. One problem gone. This is not good. The other Overwatch didn't go off. Oh. Okay, I think we got... We got away with it. And when I say got away with it... That is, of course. Ready to engage. Depending on your point of view. I'm on the move. Step in. Quick aim. <laughs> Come and get some. Firing target. Okay. Not quite gone as well as I would have liked. Especially because he's a regen one, but we'll get him killed. And actually if we if we go rapid clearance, we can then carry on doing more stuff. It's just it's not massively efficient. Ready to fire. Okay, up here, Hilda. We might be able to come and kill this and like do extra rapid clearance stuff. Maybe. Let's, um, let's get over here. That's what I'm thinking. Stabbed it in the back. In the legs. <laughs> now, I don't think we're going to try and stun it or anything, but we can do a war cry to reduce its effectiveness next turn. <laughs> Is that not allowing it to happen? It should it should be allowing it to happen. It's just the game sometimes gets really weird and picky about these things. Okay, that's a decent amount of damage. Let's uh 
Let's dash over here. So those two are not really threats for us at the moment. Stepping in, we can get some quick aim. And mark for death. I am aware that Amina is a little bit in danger being there, but that's fine. This has been war cried. This hasn't. But he's got a sniper rifle, so he's gonna have to come all the way around if he's gonna take a shot. That's assuming he's gonna like do shooting. He might not do shooting, he might do something else. Eduardo, come in. Target hit. The side that hits it is makes very satisfying. I will say that. Uh, Maria, you're going to come to here and you're going to overwatch for it moving. No, look, you're going to come to here and we'll get you just shooting it. And then you'll overwatch with your paralysis pistol. Herman. If you think you can quick aim shoot it from there, be my guest. Actually, great. Quick aim. Let's make sure it panics. Viral load to the max. It might not make sure it panics, but it's going to be pretty, pretty big in terms of the viral damage that it takes. Eileen, I think you're probably just going to come in, get a paralysis shot, and then... And then go on Overwatch. We're not looking to paralyze it, um, but paralysis does impact on action points. So it's always worth us considering. Hey, Herbert, you can actually do quite a bit of damage with your crossbow. Now we're not going to do enough to kill it. But it is down to 762, so... It is worth us keeping on. And good thing is, because it's the Citadel, it's got nowhere to retreat. So this thing is not going to run away. Carry on on your journey. And yeah, go on Overwatch. 
There's the panic. Oh, unfortunate. Ha, he's got to go the long way around. Well, we know where he is. It's almost tempting to go in there to see what's in the boxes. Uh, let's get another frenzy on. <laughs> yeah, you can see it. It's got very little health left, but it is panicked. It's going to bleed out in two turns. I don't know what it is, but it's dead. I wonder if I can hit it from there. Not quite. That was always going to be a little bit hopeful. Actually, you know what? On storm. It's just a little Arthurin. I mean, I say a little Arthurin. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. He's got to go the long way round. So we can actually afford to step there. God, we've got th 13 willpower back, so we can, we can definitely charge in and grab some stuff if we wanted. Uh, it's time to start getting everyone out, though. We've done what we came here for. So, let's not mess around. Once you've got the uh, the correct equipment, and when I say the correct equipment, I mean, like, the ancient weapons. Um, I'm not going to say that these missions become trivial, but they certainly become a lot more manageable. Like you can uh, you can approach each encounter and say, I need to do this, I need to do that, and it it all falls very much into place. Okay, Maria, you could also grab stuff. You've only got two spaces. You've not got any spaces. Fine. Okay, he's coming around. There he is. Okay, rapid clearance. What we want to do is we want to dash to this one. We'll take one thing of mutagens, one thing of tech, and the rest I don't care about. Then we're going to step next to this guy, we're going to stab him. And we're going to carry on. And we're going to leave that Umbra to appear. Out we go. Got the loot. A nice, successful Citadel clear. And it didn't take that long. Only 20 something minutes. Hey, 
Lola and Eileen both made it to level 7. No specific items recovered. Uh, we did get some tech, we got some mutagens. Uh, I think we're going to need mutagens when we make the uh, uh, the Mars Manticore, so that's worthwhile. We have destroyed it. That is just a recurring bug that uh, still hasn't been sorted. Right. This uh, Bareth, it's probably worth us trying to knock it out. Seeing as we have our base right here. Let's send both of our craft in and we'll try and do it. Okay, so in terms of what we're going to take out first, we're going to use the rail guns and, and really taking out the void chamber is, is the most important thing. The Void Chamber can just kill anything. And after we've shot, really, we want to think about disengaging. It's like that much of a threat. Nope, you ain't going to hit me with that. So our ship is going to fly elsewhere and then immediately come back. In the meantime, we can engage with the next. And again, we want to disengage just before it has a chance to, to really attack us. So we never really get a chance for the uh, for the nomads to work. But that's fine. Right, you're going to go back. You're going to go back. Cool. While well, it's still damaged. Great. So with that gone, we could just try and power through its hull. Taking out the acid spit. It's probably the next most important thing. Nice. Let's disengage at that. Yeah, hit us with acid so we don't want the acids to affect us. It hasn't done any repairs. Let's focus on the ticks. Uh, we've got fire suppression system, which is no use on this, but that is what it is. Good start, they've missed us lots. Ah, oh, we missed a lot. <laughs> okay, we can carry on for a little bit longer. Our missiles are not being very accurate, are they? Okay. The tick is gone. We should be able to destroy it now. We're going to take 
pepperings of damage, but not badly. Ten of time when it hits. And it can't shoot anymore. Good job, Jing Wei! This went so much better than the last ones we fought. Not sure how that missile is. But... I always thought that this, um, the visual for this combat hey, is is not brilliant. Um, it could be a lot more interesting while keeping the same game mechanic. Ooh, we got given a gun. Well, that's that's definitely worth us popping somewhere that we can have a look at it. Okay, well, we've got our two level ups to do. Let's do them first of all. Uh, sneak attack, that is a super smart move. Mark for death, having Lola being able to do that as well, also useful. It is eating into our spare skill points, but that's okay. Eileen, mind crush. Mind crush is just such a good skill. I'm not sure if you need Mark for Death. Um, it would be nice to get it, so let's get it, but at the same time, not strictly necessary. I just thought Mind Crush with like rapid clearance could be could be a very interesting way of like recharging from weak enemies. Okay. In the Air Force, we actually got given a railgun. Uh, well, let's let's swap out that missile. No, not that missile. Let's swap out that missile. We don't really need this anymore, but I guess we can hold on to it to maybe equip the Masked Manticore. I'm also thinking that maybe swapping the uh, the fire suppression system over would be smart because there's there's nothing really that we're facing that has fire anymore. So in terms of what we could also put on, uh, utility systems. Oh, we can't do any of the, uh, the Synedrian ones. Okay. Uh, we could make another Afterburner. It's not the worst idea. I'd probably be more tempted to get bigger ar big armor plates on it as well, though. Psychic Guidance on weapons would make it a bit more reliable. But let's get an or Oracle just just to like see how it how it fares. Uh, right, and for the team, I did say we were going to send them up to take out the other uh, infestation. Now, how quickly... We end up... Oh, Phoenix Storage 1 will be attacked. Well, we've already got a team there. So I guess we'll send the team around the area doing little things, but ultimately stay still. Uh, what could we get going here that's going to be handy? Maybe another fabrication plant? I don't know if it's strictly necessary. A mist repeller? A mist repeller is probably smart. Especially given we're right in the middle of the mist. Okay, back to the other team. Yeah, 
like they're gonna try and infest lots of places. Research complete. Virophage weapons has been researched. Virophage sniper rifle. It's pretty powerful. Uh ooh. Okay, we want to research the Mars Manticore. Get it done ASAP. Then I'm I'm curious about the Femris, so we'll get that going as well. Maybe advanced laser tech first. So one day and we'll be able to make the Mars Manticore and then we'll obviously have to queue it up. Uh, in terms of manufacturing, uh, we do have the new uh, gun gear virophage sniper rifle. It's, it's pretty powerful. I do think the ancient weapons end up being better though. The Idrisil grenade though is just amazing. 40 blast and 60 virophage damage. All right. Uh, you know what? We've probably got enough time to, to do this. So, uh, in fact, no, no, inevitably we don't because these Haven missions always take quite a long time. Let's just very quickly check the other team. They're almost rested up. So, you know what? We'll, we'll send them out to explore here. Uh, but that is all we're going to have time for for this episode. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point. See you soon.